says, Happy Easter Merit. Good luck on finding your eggs I hid. By the way, you are fantastic at decorating eggs. Be a good boy always. Love the Easter Bunny. Even he's telling you to be a good boy. <laughs> what else did he get you? Got me new clothes! What is this? Is this a toy Easter boat? Holy, it's a tackle box! Holy. There's everything you could wish for in right here. How's that Easter egg hunting going? Oh, you gotta get some, get it higher so you can see it. Let's put the swivels in here with the sinkers. Could they the same size? Well, these hooks. So you've got two more packages of hooks. Ooh, three. Hey, what's this? Oh. I remember this, Grandpa. This is what you put your fishes on. Yeah, your stringer. It's a stringer. Yep. It's called a stringer. It's Easter today, and I'm moving these cows into a new pasture to them. It's not it's the calving pasture that everything else is in. We'll probably hear us talk about a lot, like these older cows. They always know where they're going. In the spring, they are trying to go upstream on the river, and in the fall when it snows, they come down to here on their own. I just cracked this gate open, and they're headed out. Windy today. Buzz over and open another gate. It's always stressful driving when there's this many calves around. They like to get right next to the tires and don't pay attention. So you have to pay extra attention. Buzz over here and open another gate in case some of them miss that other gate and they trail up this fence. I don't know if you can see over there, there's a bunch of calves back over there still. They hadn't, didn't quite follow their moms. So we'll open this gate in the corner and I still haven't really decided yet if I'm gonna feed in this cabin pasture if I'm going to go one pasture over and feed the next pasture over. I had a tractor getting worked on over in Sundance and it's done. Um, took it over there. I don't know if I had a kingpin going out or what and I'm not a mechanic. Something in the front end the wheels were kind of pitched out funny. So we took it over there and dropped it off and it's done getting worked on. So I thought I'd just run over there in the semi to grab it. And our semi did start, which is awesome. But uh, 
I got a bunch of low tires and when we licensed it, the licensing was all up in February for all of our vehicles. And when we licensed everything, somehow the trailer didn't get licensed. The truck is, but not the trailer. So you have to run over and get tags for that. And then I'll air these tires up and decide if we're gonna go get that tractor today or not. Our truck's name is Mama Odie off of Princess and the Frog. She's a peach because it's about the time that we got this semi, Princess and the Frog was about the only way we could get Merritt to go to sleep at night because I don't know if it was because he liked it or because he didn't like it. Either way, you put it on and within about five minutes he was out. So I guess there's, there's where the name Mama Odie for the semi came from. See if I can get a video of these guys coming into the horn. There's not a kind of eating some old grass in here, so we're giving them some 20% cake. Giving them the protein they need. As much as I despise buying hay, I'm probably gonna buy a couple more loads of hay. Should be here tomorrow. I might, I might feed these guys like every other day or something. But they seem pretty dang happy, really, living on the old grass. Usually we have a, like a 2,000 pound auger driven cake feeder that we use to cake cows and that is a lot easier but the water pump I'm pretty sure I took out of it so until we get that fixed I'm dumping it out 50 pound bags at a time which isn't bad because I'm only caking this little handful of cows I'm not caking them all yet but it is not nearly as convenient as the cake feeder. How many times have these bulls got out? I don't know many times, but it's been naughty four times, yeah. I think. These bulls are naughty. They're not on our place, are they? Mm -mm. Look at that beautiful lake over there. And that beautiful big rock. Yesterday we trailed the heifer pairs, first calf heifer pairs into this pasture behind me. That's why that little wire panel's there to keep calves from coming through it. Um, today I'm gonna give them some cake. The solar well that's in there this morning wasn't pumping and I'm hoping it was just because the kind of overcast today and the sun's not shining very good. We're gonna go check on it, but I grabbed a generator just in case we can hook onto it and make sure there's not something bigger wrong with it. And then there's a gate stick broken going into the neighbors. So we're gonna fix that and then we're gonna give them just a little bit of cake. So we got gate stick to fix the fence, generator to see if the solar well can get going. Oh, but I think I forgot an extension cord. I don't remember if that cord's long enough in there. It might be kinda awkward. And a little bit of cake to give them. Hopefully they appreciate it. These heifers have never really been caked like the cows have, so we'll see if they come to it. If you can see. There's Rita, my wife's super, super duper friendly heifer from a couple videos ago. 
See if I can set this up and I'll dump some cake out. I don't know if anyone will come or not, but we'll give her a shot. generator but I'm the luckiest man alive and I don't need my generator I kind of did kind of mess this up though making it muddy around here people that's just kind of I only buried this line with a tractor bucket like a foot deep so it'll freeze so this line here I just dump into this tank whenever it is froze up through this but as you can see we have water. Thank goodness. I was kind of nervous about that whole deal. So this is on a solar. It just runs as long as there's sun. So then it goes through an overflow right in the middle of the tank and down and into this draw. And then it just kind of pools up, pools up for gloomy days. So there's water down there in the draw. As long as the oak trees don't drink it first. Oh. That made me pretty happy. I was a little nervous. The next thing messed up on the list today is to fix the broken gate stick going into the neighbor's place. Get that fixed up before I dump a bunch of cows in there. And then Tate's on his way back with the 4955 and we'll hook that onto the no-till drill and get it calibrated to plant oats into the alfalfa. Hopefully get going. I obviously you can tell we've had cows through it last fall probably because I caked a bunch of cows in here for a while last fall. So I'm just gonna set. Headed into town to get Merritt from preschool now. I finished up. Luckily, the solar well was working. The fence didn't take long. So, usually, Ash and I just kind of, we don't really have a set routine. Whoever's, whoever happens to fr be free right at that given moment in time, we'll go get Merritt, drop him off in the morning, and just kind of, Ashley took him this morning, and I'm gonna pick him up this afternoon. So. You can see down along here, they graze all this grass really good. It's nice, short, new grass that's coming in. And this hillside right here is all kind of like 
old buffalo bunch grass in these spots where it's the absolute thickest and you can see the cows don't even hardly go right here I'm trying to get them to stomp this down maybe graze a little bit of it while they're here kind of some fresh grass the opportunity to grow here because there's so much old grass it's kind of chokes out the new so i guess see if we have any luck with that we're just gonna here is the mineral that we use uh it's very very expensive this time of year so this time of year we use this 12 12 so it's 12 percent phosphorus in it in the winter time and early in the spring they just don't quite get enough out of what you're feeding the dry forage that you're feeding them in the grass later in the summer we'll go to half the phosphorus it's 12 6 so it's six percent phosphorus but here's kind of what it looks like the salt in it is kind of what gets them to eat it good um, so you try like if you if your cows have been off a of mineral for a while you want to give them salt like well ahead of time or they will devour this mineral that costs you a small fortune these guys have been on salt and mineral so they won't they they go through a lot of it but they won't go through as much as they would if they had been off of salt if they've been off of salt and you throw this mineral out you're kind of wasting a pile of money i know i just spent a lot of time talking about something that probably i'm the only person in the world that cares about but i came back today to check the salt and mineral and it happened a little faster than I thought. I don't know if you can see, but they blazed out all that old grass already in one day. So one day they did what I wanted them to do. Here you can kind of see what it was, the stuff that nothing will eat. And here's where they've had mineral and grazed out. It looks pretty rough, but it gives, gives new grass a chance to grow there. So we'll move the salt and mineral over a little bit and just keep plugging away a little spot at a time until it's nice fresh grass. Yesterday we got the drill already, the tractor hooked up and Ken is coming out and he's gonna plant some oats into the pivot today, into the alfalfa on the pivot today. Ken is the man. He did like all the farming last year. He built a road into a pasture that we basically haven't been able to use for I don't know how long. He's one of the handiest humans I know. He's planting oats today. He already was on his way to the shop. He was already on his way to the shop to get more oats because I was took too long getting this trailer ready. So on this trailer I've got and I'll see if you can see it. I got three pallets of bags of oat seed because we don't have a seed tender or an auger or anything cool like that or a payloader that'll lift high enough to use a tote bag. Uh, and the totes come not handy enough and they usually turns into a mess. So I'm taking these three pallets of oats out to him. That should be plenty for him for today. He's planting 80 pounds to the acre so he's hoping today he can almost get 40 acres done or around 40 acres that's kind of the goal for today
start to bloom That snow has been so deep They've shut down all the highways Seems as if this year may never end You practice what you preach Now you're judging my ways It's hard these days to tell who's your friend Get my pain on back home.